What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Wednesday, April 13th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AwesomeO. Get yourself $25 on your first deposit. And we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with P.J. Washington, DeJounte Murray, Jakob Pertl, Trey Young, and Kevin Herter on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? Time to find out. First up at number five, we've got DeAndre Hunter. He's small forward eligible, 4,300. Projected for 27. The goal is 28. He's in the optimal lineup 41% of the time. I gave him 34 minutes, and I don't think it'd be crazy if he played more. He is their best perimeter defender, 0.8. Fantasy points per minute here, 19% usage, 15 points, four and a half boards, and then very little else, an assist and a half, and maybe a stock and a half. It's a little bit of a pace up spot here for Atlanta. They are the favorites in this spot. They should pick up a W, at least I'm expecting them to. I think this spot just looks really good for Hunter. I'm a little surprised at his price. I think he's a little undervalued based on how much I expect him to play. At number four, we go to the Pelicans for Brandon Ingram, shooting guard, small forward eligible, 8,300. Projected for 46, the goal is 47. He's in the optimal lineup 41% of the time. I think Ingram plays 36 minutes. If he can handle it, I think he could play upwards of 40 if it's ultra competitive. 1.28 fantasy points per minute in this spot because the Pelicans get the benefit of a pace up matchup. They gain 1.8 possessions above their average. Ingram's a 29% usage guy since CJ McCollum has been traded to New Orleans. 25 points, seven boards, six assists, and a stock. Look, you get shooting guard small forward, and that's the real big piece here. You also get guard forward and utility, which makes Brandon Ingram very easy to fit in any sort of lineup you're putting together. At number three, we're going to Miles Bridges. He's small forward, power forward eligible, 7,100. Projected for 37 and a half. The goal is 41 and a half, and he's in the optimal lineup 42% of the time. I gave Bridges 36 minutes. Would not surprise me if he played a bit more. He's a little over a fantasy point per minute guy. 21, great season out of Bridges, by the way. I just need to say it. 21% usage, 19 points, eight boards, four assists, a steal, and a block. Good eligibility, good salary. You, you can't really ask for a lot more here out of Bridges. He's one of the, like, I wouldn't be surprised if Miles Bridges pay, plays the most minutes of anyone on Charlotte. That's just how his role looks on a day like today. And he had a major coming out party this season. I think he's going to want this one big time. They need to get the win in order to move on. So Bridges for 7,100, sign me up. Or you can go to his teammate, Terry Rozier, point guard, shooting guard eligible, 6,800, projected for 37.7. The goal is 40. He's in the optimal lineup 42% of the time. I gave Rozier 36 minutes. He's a 1.05 fantasy point per minute guy. And we kind of know exactly what Terry Rozier is going to do. He's going to do a little bit of scoring. He's going to do a little rebounding, a little bit of assist work. 20 points on 23% usage, five boards, five assists, a stock and a half. We know that he has the upside in scoring. I think this matchup fits him pretty well. Not a lot of good perimeter defense outside of DeAndre Hunter. So whether you like Terry Rozier or you like Bridges, they're both tied at the 42% mark. My recommendation, play them both. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AWESOMO. Your number one contender for today is Bogdan Bogdanovich. Shoot guard, small forward eligible, so you get guard, forward, and utility. He's 5,700, projected for 34. The goal's 35. He's in the optimal lineup 44% of the time. I gave him 32 minutes. I think he's finally going to play a little bit more in a competitive matchup. You just don't have any extra minutes that you want to give up to like someone like Lou Will, for instance. 1.05 fantasy points per minute, 23% usage, 18 points, four and a half boards, three and a half assists, and a stock and a half. It's a great matchup against Charlotte. It's a great position against Charlotte. It's a great salary against Charlotte. Everything that you could possibly ask for for Bogdanovich is in his favor today. That's why he's the number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Wednesday, April 13th. FanDuel and Yahoo versions of this video are around here somewhere, so check them out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We're back again Friday morning for another edition of The Contenders.